this. This was the baby that got away. And basically when we purchased the property up there, we saw this a few weeks before and we was offering, and it was a lot cheaper, but it was really tight. Didn't have the loft conversion, was tired as hell. Somebody had actually viewed the property before us um, and just started ripping towels off and that, seeing what was behind it, which is just mental. Anyway, we ended up going for that one and this one has still not completed now, like eight months later. So every week I'm calling up the agent, don't show the address, don't show them, it's top secret. But um, every week I'm calling the agent because if I could get that, there's massive value to add in terms of a BRR. Tough, follow up man. This one, my most recent rent to rent deal. Um, really, really good deal. Landlord had to relocate, is up in Scotland. They want to be hands off. So we've taken it off their hands for five years. And today's a big day because today is photo shoot day. And when I started, I would turn these around in 10 days, two weeks. This one's taken about four or five weeks, but I wanted to get the photo shoot just right. So let's go and have a look. Wow, so this is looking nice. As you can see, the team have been dressing this property. Got a nice little, um, you know, collage of, of artwork there, which is cool. Some flowers, some dressings. Went for a cool glass table with some hip chairs. And over there, you can see that's the Prosecco from last night because we had a big, big, big day anniversary and also the England game, which was a smasher. But yeah, it's looking really nice. Not sure what to do with that yet. Not sure if that belongs in here. Uh, but yeah, come and have a look. Let's look at the rest of it. Yeah, this is looking good. So the team have been in here. I've managed to systemize this. So we've got shopping lists for kitchen, for bathroom, for bedrooms, so that a member of the team can just go out They've got a shopping list with drop box links, prices, where to get them from. So that in every drawer, I'd imagine, yeah, there you go. So brand new pans, Climfill, um, foil, you name it, brand new pans. And that's why we can charge a premium, by the way, because all you need is a suitcase. And that's what our clients need. So I can just imagine, I just got here, I'm like, oh yeah, what's going on? Boom. There you go, look at that. That's what you want, innit? Quadruple chocolate cookies. That'll do. I had a bit of a heavy night last night. Paracetamol. Want to season some chicken up? Salt. Don't you hate it when you go to an Airbnb and you have to buy a massive flipping vat of salt for like one meal? So it's fully serviced. Let's check out the fridge. Don't let me down. There you go. Milk and juice. So you're ready to go. Tea, coffee behind you, sugar. So that's what it's all about. Fully service means fully service. You've got to think of everything and you've got to make sure you systemize it because I don't want to be going shopping all the time, to tell you the truth. That's what it is. So yeah, nice garden, little outdoor area, space. Nice barbecue. It's cool. And by the way, this property is going to be an SA unit. Um, it just feels like it's really close to town. It's really, really nice. We've gone high end on the furnishings and we've already secured a two month booking on this. A lot of people don't see this demand, but it's not just people trying to go out, out or even on work, but you've got people that are maybe relocating or in between property sales. So we've got a lady, she's waiting for her property to complete, but she's already completed on her house. So she needs to move out. She wants to be in this affluent area, so she's gonna move into here for two months. A really good rental return for us. She gets a, a lovely house and you solve a problem. So basically it's photo shoot time. We're just on the way to one of my favorite furniture stores because she's got a couple of lights for us, a bit of bedding, dressing, just to finish things off. And then we're gonna head back to the property. I've also got to pick up a TV. Um, forgot, left it at the last minute, so we need a 40 inch TV go back to the property, finishing touches, and then, um, yeah, I'll be able to show you some nice pictures. These pictures today are going to be the front cover of our website, so I've gone that extra mile to make sure that they are sublime. So hang tight for that, and I'll see you in a minute. Busy, busy, busy day. Just made it back to the property, got to unload the car with all the cushions and the pillows and the throws and the lights and the chairs and all the final bits, and then we got to run over to a Curry's or 
PC World? Yeah, PC World, they do TVs. Get a TV, get back here, got an hour, get the property ready, get it ready for you, get it ready for the photographer, get it ready for the 3D tour. And then we're gonna go about 50, 50 houses up, do the same thing. Watch this. So we're on set, finally ready to take the photos, ready to do the 3D video, ready to do the YouTube stuff, because we're filming everything from all angles right now. We signed this property five weeks ago. We've done the work, we've, we've done the improvements, we've had to add plug sockets, do smoke alarms, do painting and decorate. We've done all the stuff, we've got the furniture in, now we're dressing it and first guests arrive at 5 p.m. So we've got an hour and a half, talk about cutting it fine. It's not easy, it's not, it's not. But the thing is, this is what I've noticed, right? If you put the extra time in at this stage, it's gonna make it so much more easy for you to let the property keep them let and get the high bookings in terms of service accommodation. Or if you're going for the HMO route, you just stand out. You wanna be the cream of the crop. Everybody's always like, really? Do you really still have to do all this after X amount? I'm like, yeah, I need to up the levels because I see some of you SA queens and that out there. You're embarrassing me, so I'm not having it. I'm upping the levels. So Matthew's doing his magic next door. Meanwhile, me and Lucy are running around like headless chickens, moving all the bedding and going absolutely mental. And then straight after this, we go about 30 doors up the road, do the same again. Then we've got guests checking in here. We've got revaluations re going on the other side of the road. I'd just like to send my mum over there just to let the guy in. It's all go, but feels like it's gonna be worth it because this place looks great.